uh, let me get to this story here. It's a great story, people. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm telling it because um, of, of who we lost on, on Monday. It was the summer of 2017. I get a call from one of my representatives, Team Eisen, <laughs> to say, hey, there's a Katy Perry video <laughs> shooting in town. <laughs> I'm like, okay, go go on. I'm listening. <laughs> go on. I'm intrigued. And it's a sports theme, and they're looking for a sportscaster to appear in it. Would you want to do it? Oh, I thought that you were going to say they asked you if you knew anybody. No, no. <laughs> Would you want to do it? And I'm like, where is it? They're like, it's here in town. They're shooting it at the Galen Center, which is the home of USC basketball. Yep. And it's just an afternoon. I'm like, okay. Um and they say there's somebody else who's going to be as the color commentator. You're the announcer. There's a color commentator. I said, who is it? And they said, Bill Walton. <laughs> and there we are on the screen <laughs> on the video of Swish Swish. <laughs> and this is a really tall guy. <laughs> Bill Walton is Chiron is really tall guy. I'm Chiron is not as tall as Bill Walton, which is can confirm. True. That's a fact. Can confirm. Yeah. Now, had you known Bill before this? Uh, I, I'd known of him. He'd been on this program. We'd never really met before, okay. no. And I just fell in love with the guy. Oh. I was such a huge fan of his, listening to him with Marv, calling games, and, you know, just imitating him and just talking about life and the Grateful Dead yeah. and the sun, sun, the sun in the sky and just everything <laughs> about him and all of his essence. And he's exactly who you thought he would be. He was great to everybody. Everybody wanted a piece of him. He was just chatting up. Here's a photograph of him chatting up, I believe, one of the directors of this video. And and um, it was unbelievable. And it was just a wild day as well. The mountain from Game of Thrones was in this video as well. There's a photograph. I'm standing in between the two of them. I honestly look like uh, their, their roll-on they use for deodorant in between these two huge people. And yes... Bill has a couple inches on the mountain. <laughs> Fire on the mountain. Really? And so it was just in a wild day. <laughs> now then, you could take a look at, if you wouldn't mind putting up one of the shots of the two of us courtside. You could see behind him, there's a folding chair, okay, that we would be sitting in. The issue for Bill was he had major back problems. So that's why he, he loved, he needed to stand a lot. Sitting in that chair wasn't great for him. He had off to the side and upstairs as well, where we were in our, or the green room was placed, a, a metal chair. He brought his own chair, a very high chair so he could sit on it. And it was made of metal. And that was for his back. And they brought it downstairs and it was off to the side. Whenever he wasn't shooting, he would sit down in that chair. Now then. Part of him sitting in that chair and having some issues, I wanted to make sure that we, when it was time to nail our lines, we were nailing our lines so he could get out because he had to get back down to San Diego and he wanted to beat the traffic. This was an early afternoon on a, I think on like a Thursday or Friday. Good, good luck getting back there. You needed a helicopter, really. And his car to take him to the hotel in downtown LA, which as the crows fly, crow might fly less than a mile. But it was like a 20, 30 minute ride because of the traffic. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. And the car that was supposed to come for him was late. And we were shot out. I said, Bill, I'll take you. I'll take you. Please, let me take you. Oh, it's going to be a half hour, Richard. Are you sure? It's gonna... I'm like, please, Bill, like I, I'm, I'd be honored to take you. But we have to fit my chair. I've got to bring my chair. I'm like, fine, we'll do that. No problem. <laughs> And I'm uh, thinking to myself, as we're walking down the street on Flower Street in Los Angeles, watching Bill Walton toddle along with this massive <laughs> chair in front of him. It's made of metal. I'm like, Bill, we're only a half a block from my car. Don't worry about it. But as we're doing that, I'm thinking to myself, I had this Tesla Model S with a hatchback in the back. And I'm thinking to myself there may be an issue in fitting this chair in the car. <laughs> and sure enough, again, this was 2017, Taylor, now 10, my daughter, we had a car seat in the car. And as you know, getting a car seat in and out. Oh, brutal. So I had to basically push as much as I possibly could the back of that seat up with the car seat on it 
just to fit the chair in. And Bill's like, are you sure? Because it's not going to fit. It's just not going to work. Rich, are you sure? I don't, I don't want to be too much of a burden. And I'm like, don't worry, Bill. We're going to make this work. we got to get you to your hotel. It would be my honor to do this, get you in a car, to, on back to San Diego. And sure enough, we jam the chair in, and the corner of the metal part of the chair is up against the glass as it finally closes. We jam it down. And I'm like, okay, we did it, Bill. Get in the front seat. We'll push it all the way back. As we begin to walk to the front of the car, we hear crack. (laughs) It broke the windshield. And the entire half hour ride of Bill Walton in the front seat, sitting shotgun in my car, was him apologizing. I cannot believe this happened, whatever. I will pay for it. And I'm like, Bill, I will not take a dollar of your money and I saved the windshield (laughs) when they replaced it I said give me the broken windshield I want it back so I could save it had no idea giant crack no idea there would be something to go along with this cracked windshield as a keepsake about two weeks later I received at home an envelope that I have right here to my home address, and you could see the scrawl on it, to my name, and it, the return address was Bill Walton in San Diego, California, and I saved the note that he sent me, and there's a photograph of it. I will read it to you. We blurred out his address. You could see it's on his stationery, which is like X's and O's, drawn up a play, of half court, right? Yep, yep. Okay, of a, of of a lane. This is not the pyramid of success. He wrote, <laughs> this is on July 21st, of 2017, I can't, I get emotional. Please, Rich, sorry to ruin your life, career, (laughs) and your car, all in such a brief period of time. Thank you for your kindness, patience, sense of honor, and my life. Thanks for your moral clarity, ethics, and humanity. Shine the light, be the light, Bill Walton. Shine the with light. a check for one thousand dollars that I immediately contacted to tell him I am not cashing, and sure <laughs> enough, here it is in my hands today, uncashed. I will never cash this check. Never. I will always keep this note. I will always remember the cracked windshield and my day with Bill Walton on the set of a Katy Perry video that remarkably is the most watched thing I've ever done. 685 (laughs) million views of this video, and I will never forget that day with Bill Walton. Ironically enough, in the home of USC basketball, which he even kind of had a comment about, I can't believe I'm sitting here, you know, like (laughs) Mr. UCLA, Mr. Bruin. Everything he stood for and what he fought for veterans' rights as well, certainly in protesting the Vietnam War on this uh, on the campus of UCLA back in the 70s for him to pass away on Memorial Day on a day of the Celtics gaining back to the NBA finals i had no idea he was ill none at all his last broadcast was on february 10th on the pac12 network in oregon you couldn't tell this man was sick let alone within three and a half months of no longer being with us taken away from us an absolute gut punch that somebody who would just live his life to the fullest, live for today, think about tomorrow, learn from the past, and talk to everybody is no longer with us. Rest in peace to you, Bill Walton, and we'll talk about more of it in an hour two. And just his last appearance on our program is a perfect example of him, his essence, his being. We had him on to talk about the Final Four three years ago. 2021 and we were joking how long is he going to talk when we just say hello to him (laughs) right (laughs) the answer is like two plus minutes but here's the 43 seconds that really matters hit it the one the only the hall of famer bill walton here on the rich eisen show how are you bill here we go i'm alive i'm married to Lori. she's still here 
I haven't broken any Tesla windshields today. <laughs> I'm on the Rich Eisen show. So what could be better? It's a beautiful day in Southern California. It's a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the greatness of all that we have and to lift the spirits of those in need, to ease the pain and the burden, and come together as a team, as a community, and with the collective sense of effort and purpose. And let's get this thing going right now. The final yeah. four. The yes. Tonight. <laughs> the world's a little less great today. No doubt about it. Mm. Shine the light. Be the light. Love be that. the light. Love that. Is what he wrote to me, handwritten note. Mm. All of our condolences out to Lori and his family. Rest in peace, Bill Walton.